Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We recently tested the 2023 Ford Bronco Sport with the two liter EcoBoost engine. So it's in the garage today, and we're gonna do an underhood tour outlining all of the major technical features, as well as the maintenance service points. The 2021 to 2023 Ford Bronco Sport top engine option is the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine called EcoBoost. In the Bronco Sport we've got here, it comes mated exclusively to an 8-speed automatic transmission and is optioned with the advanced all-wheel drive system because it's based on the Badlands trim grade. As such, the engine is rated at 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. It has an EPA-rated fuel economy of 21 MPG City, 26 Highway, and 23 MPG combined. While the published horsepower is based on premium gasoline, the EPA rating shows recommended fuel to be regular 87 octane. The EcoBoost 2.0-liter engine is in its second generation and it features direct fuel injection, twin independent cam timing for its 16 valves, and it is of course turbocharged and air-to-air -air intercooled. One look at the engine compartment shows familiarity with both the contemporary Ford Maverick and the Ford Escape with the 2.0-liter EcoBoost engine as they share common platform architecture and thus many of the under hood components are identical. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top of the radiator and travels through a plastic duct to the air filter box at the driver's side front of the engine bay. Changing the air filter appears to be easy, needing only a pop of a couple of clips to access the element. The intake air travels from there through another duct to the turbocharger which is at the rear of the engine and out of sight from above. The turbocharger is mounted directly to the aluminum head, which has an integral exhaust manifold for better thermal efficiency. The intake charge then travels through some pretty substantial ducting to the air-to-air -air intercooler mounted behind the front bumper, and then back up to the throttle body located at the bottom front of the engine at the composite intake manifold. From there, it travels into the head and into the cylinders. On the top of the head, you can see all four spark plug coil packs, the direct fuel injection system is mostly hidden away under other components and not very easy to see. The one exception is the high pressure fuel pump that can be seen with a black foam hat. It's driven by the cam. In spite of being tightly packaged, doing your own service and maintenance is relatively straightforward. Windshield washer fluid is at the front passenger side fender with a bright blue cap. Next to it is the main engine coolant reservoir. The oil dipstick and filler cap are easy to find at the top of the engine in plain sight. Changing the oil filter does require access from underneath. Checking the brake fluid is done at the driver's side firewall. This vehicle has the Copilot 360 package, which requires the ability for the computer to apply and control the brakes. Thus, it has a drive-by-wire electronic brake control unit underneath the reservoir. The 12-volt battery is located just beside of the brake fluid reservoir and is easy to access. While the main breaker fuses are under the hood, most accessory consumer grade fuses are located under the glove box. Looking forward, you can see the electric radiator cooling fan, which should be respected even if the engine is turned off. There you go, my friends, for under the hood of the 2 liter EcoBoost Ford Bronco Sport 21 to 23, similar, probably even 2024, going to be identical as far as I know. Now we have a test drive on this vehicle. It was actually a Heritage Limited Edition. Why the bright color? You can see that right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.